Release the Kraken. Okay, so this is a bit of a long one, this one. Uh, this is Gregory Stenstrom, I believe. Yeah, Stenstrom. He is uh, giving his testimony now of what he saw and uh, the friends he was with at the time also saw, including Democratic um, witnesses as well. So this is uh, quite full on. Uh, what he's describing here is very serious. We're talking lots of missing S um, SSDs, I was just going to say. They're not SSDs, they're uh, micro SD cards. I'm assuming some sort of uh, tailored version of those. 47 missing cards with the votes on them, gone. 70,000 ballots sitting in a back room, deliberately not being counted. So he says. This is crazy. This is crazy stuff. Reporting it to the sheriff, and in the statements, it doesn't look like the sheriff did anything about it. Going from 120,000 votes being posted in to then 200,000 out of nowhere. These are all crazy things that just don't make any sense. Um, thank you. Thank you, Gregory, for coming forward and uh, giving this statement. This is, if this is true, this is absolutely insane. The fact that any of this was allowed to, to go on with all this happening, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Group to follow. <laughs> My name is Gregory Stenstrom. I'm from Delaware County. I'm a father, a family man. Uh, I was a former commanding officer and executive officer in the Navy. I'm a veteran of foreign wars. I'm the CEO of my own private company. I'm a data scientist. I'm a forensic computer scientist. I'm an expert in security and fraud. Uh, Leah had recruited me uh, for this election, um, and uh, I was glad I uh, thank you for that. Thank you. So for the first part of the day, I was a poll watcher in the city of Chester. and. Uh, I was with just another uh, former U.S. Marine officer, and uh, the two of us were the only GOP poll watchers uh, in the city of Chester, which is about 40,000 people. Uh, because of the consolidation for COVID, uh, there were seven polls that we were allowed to, you know, that we were able to make it to in 22 precincts. What we saw out there was pretty orderly um, and uh, exciting. People were excited to vote. Uh, one of the things we saw out in the field was that people, uh, quite a few people had done mail-in ballots. So they came in and they hadn't uh, been updated in the Delaware County database yet. So they would come in and say, I, you know, the database is not showing me on the database, I'd like to vote. So the process, uh, one of the processes was to uh, give them a, uh, uh, a provisional ballot. And, um, and then they would vote provisionally, and then later on their vote would be sorted out. Um, that didn't happen. Uh, I, I observed, and the gentleman that was with me uh, observed uh, seven different polls where uh, the people were given a, a regular ballot. So they cast a vote and put it in. You know, we let it happen a few times. You know, we didn't jump all over them. You know, it happened a couple of times. We went up. Uh, in all cases, the election judges were very uh, forthcoming. Um, very polite, they apologized and they said they couldn't do it. But that um, somewhat spurred me to go down to the counting center, uh, which Leah described, it's on the Seaport Ave, it's a, it's a remote building, not much around it. And I wanted to take a look. All day long I had been told that um, there were 10 to 20 GOP poll watchers down there and that everything was well in hand. And out of curiosity, I decided to go down. Uh, I arrived at six o'clock. Um, with four other gentlemen, uh, again, former military and some good citizens from, the, from Delaware County. And um, we weren't allowed to get in until uh, 11 o'clock at night, and we had to get some um, legal help to get us in. So it took us five hours to get upstairs. Um, after that, um, you know, what we saw here is, uh, what I saw is I really think the, the, the crux of this in Delaware County is uh, as an expert, It'd be good if he went into detail as to why he wasn't allowed in, uh, like what they were saying, who was blocking him off, that kind of stuff. It'd be very interesting to know what the reason is uh, that him and his friends weren't allowed in, uh, as opposed to just saying, hey, we weren't allowed in. Like, I'd actually like to know why and what was going on there. I think it's impossible 
to verify the validity of about 100,000 to 120,000 votes. Now, Delaware County has got 425,000 registered voters. Approximately 300,000 of them voted. I don't know what the exact number ended up. Uh, Mayor Giuliani uh, had nailed that number. But of that number, uh, over 100,000 are in question, in my mind. What I saw as a forensics expert was an election process that was forensically destructive in the manner it was conducted, with the envelopes being separated from the ballots and gone to the other side of the room. And the problem with... If it's separated from the opening envelope, okay, the sealed envelope, then the vote has already been counted. If you're putting the envelopes on one side of the room and the ballots on another side and you haven't counted the ballots yet and someone hasn't witnessed you taking them out of the envelopes, those ballots are, are null and void. You cannot count them. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Why would anyone be allowing that to continue? That doesn't make any fucking sense whatsoever. From being forensically destructive is that when you go to do a recount, Okay, Can't the machines it. did a pretty good job of recounting. So if I have 120,000 ballots, mail-in ballots at one side of the room and envelopes at the other side of the room, it's still going to come out 102,000 votes for President, uh, Vice President uh, Biden and 18,000 votes for President Trump. I don't care how many times you recount those votes, you know, the ballots are going to come out the same every time. So the notion of a recount in a forensically destructive process is, is, uh, doesn't Let's work very well. Um, what we saw there, what I saw there, was a chain of custody in all cases that was broken. It was broken for the mail-in ballots, the drop box ballots, the election day USBB card flash drives. In all cases, the chain of custody and the procedures that were defined by the Delaware County Board of Elections and election process review were all, they didn't follow one. I, I, I couldn't even redline this multi-page document because the entire document would be, um, they didn't follow any of the procedures. <laughs> so I personally observed um, USB V cards being uploaded to the voting machines by the, uh, the uh, voting machine warehouse supervisor on multiple occasions. I saw this personally. I brought it to the attention of the deputy sheriff who was there stationed, who was a senior law enforcement officer, and I brought it to the attention of the clerk of elections. Um, I brought it to their attention. I objected, and what I said. This person is not being observed. He's not part of the process that I can see. And he's walking in with baggies, which we have pictures of, and it was submitted to, in our affidavits. And he was sticking these USBs into the machines. So uh, I personally what witnessed over that. What the fuck? What the fuck? Why did no one stop him? What did the sheriff do? What the fuck? The... the that's thrown the election right there. That's thrown it. You can't have someone coming in sticking USBs in live machines, live voting machines. That's no. You no. You can't do that. You can't do that. They're, they're ruined. You've you've ruined those machines. You've contaminated all those machines. You can't use any of the votes from those machines now. What the fuck? That's tampering. You've you've tampered with the machines. Those machines are now null and void. Why did the sheriff not stop this? What the fuck? What a disgrace. What an absolute disgrace. Each one of these witnesses coming forward is just giving a more and more depressing story than the previous. Holy shit. That happened 24 times, over 24 times. Um, I don't, I don't know what to say there. It happened more than 24 times. That's a rigged election. That is contaminating an election. Wow. Wow. We have multiple other witnesses to start, including Democrat poll watchers. And we were told, um, I was told the next day uh, by uh, the 
solicitors, uh, via, well, actually not the solicitor, but the attorney that we had secured, that they said every election they leave a couple of USBs in the voting machines and they're brought back and generally the warehouse manager comes over and puts them in. So in talking to uh, the U.S. Uh, Attorney General uh, McSwain and other uh, law enforcement officers, uh, I found out that was not the case, that generally, uh, you know, more than, more than two is unusual. So they denied they did it, but um, as of today, 47 USPV cards are missing. What the fuck? Are you fucking shit? 47? This guy's testimony alone is enough to throw out the entire election in that county. You don't even need the other people who have already testified. This guy alone can ruin this. Jesus fucking Christ. 47. How the fuck? Can you have 50 missing SD cards with presidential votes on them? These things should be safeguarded with people's lives. There's a 47 missing. What a absolute joke. What a absolute joke. That is disgusting. Anyone involved in that? should feel absolutely disgusted with themselves. Jesus Christ, you have betrayed your country by allowing that to happen. You have, if you've done this on purpose, committed treason. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. And they're nowhere to be found. So I was told personally that these 32, uh, these 24 to 30 cards that were uploaded um, weren't there. Those cards, uh, I demanded that the, uh, they didn't update the vote live time. They only updated it about once every two or three hours. I demanded they updated the vote so I could see what the, the, uh, what the, what, what the result was. And it was uh, 50,000 votes. And I think as a computer scientist, an American, and a patriot, it doesn't matter who those 50,000 votes were. I'll tell you they were for Vice President Biden. But what was shocking to me as an American, as someone who has uh, gone to sea, gone to war, that um, that could even happen. So several other things that uh, came up was on Thursday, it took us three days for them to obey the court order that I secured with Leah's help and the help of the Thomas More Society, uh, who we thank uh, incredibly uh, good patriots. They, they got us in there. Uh, they got the order for us to get in and watch it, uh, look at the back offices, which were locked uh, for five minutes every two hours. I went in. I was the first one allowed to go in at 1.30 on Thursday and then again at 3.30 for five minutes. The uh, county solicitor had a stopwatch. On the first time, I was not allowed to touch anything. The second time, I did. What I observed in the locked room in the back office was 70,000 unopened mail-in ballots. If this guy's testimony is the truth, this, this election in this county for that state is over. You cannot use those votes. 70,000. 47 missing SD cards. What are you talking about? How the fuck could any of that be allowed to go ahead? How is this not getting reported? The sheriff was aware of this. How did the sheriff let it go ahead? What the fuck? How is there not things put in place, safeguards put in place to make sure that if things like that happen, that those votes are immediately disregarded and they must be redone. What a fucking joke. How was none of the safeguards getting triggered? You have 70,000 votes sitting in a back room, never getting counted. 
What the fucking fuck? That makes no sense. They were in boxes of 500, stacked in neatly. The gentleman that came in with me is a, was a, Demo a Democrat poll watcher, is a forensic pathologist, a very detailed, very dedicated man, and he took meticulous notes as well. And I verified with him, are you seeing what I'm seeing? We both agreed as GOP poll watchers and a Democrat poll watcher that we had uh, witnessed 70, 60 to 70,000. We had a little bit of a disagreement there. The problem with that was by that time, the mail-in ballots had already been counted. So 120,000 mail-in ballots had already been counted, posted, and done. So my question is, where do the 70,000 ballots go? And nobody knows. We have a picture in here of a large number of boxes that I took that were filled with what appeared to be ballots sitting by the Blue Crest machine. They were there for about three hours, and then they disappeared. I thought it notable when I watched it, the first when they were taking the ballots up and down, I said, I am an expert in fraud. I saw the ballots going up multiple uh, elevators and racks, and I think a lot of well-meaning people and a lot of honest people were there doing that. They were trying to participate in the process. And I would say that 99% uh, of the people there, uh, the way the process was designed, I believe that people thought it was a, a non-fraudulent process. I heard that said many times. I was, uh, you know, I said, there's no fraud going on here. I said, well, I'm not, you know, I didn't even bring that up. But I think people uh, saw what they wanted to see, and they saw what was intended for them to see. I called it at one point Kabuki Theater. I said it was all designed for us to see it. It was entertaining. There were cameras on it. When we finally got into the back room where the votes were being ingested, as a data scientist, I want to see where, where the data is coming in. And I wanted to know the universe of the votes. Well, the universe of the votes was only supposed to be 120,000 mail-in ballots. We were told there were 6,000 ballots remaining. So I said, okay, we have a universe of 126,000 votes. And then when I get back there, the universe wasn't 126,000 votes. The universe was 200,000 votes. So that's a problem. What the fuck? Um, so he's saying when he got back there, so I'm, uh, it'd be nice to know where he went, how long he was gone for, why he left and why he didn't stay there. Um, if it's the back room and uh, he's only allowed back there for the five minutes, if that's uh, what he's referring to, then holy shit. What, they just got an extra 70, what, 3,000? 70, yeah, 74,000 votes. I don't know where he got 73 from. So he was saying at the beginning that there was 70, what he he and his friend estimated between 60 and 70,000 votes were just sitting there, not touched. Then he's saying that uh, there was 120,000 votes plus another 6,000 votes that weren't counted yet. Then he left, came back, then all of a sudden there was 200,000. So that's 60 to 70,000. Is it possible at all that they were then added back into the pile and that's how they got to the, the 20,000? Uh, 200,000, sorry, not 20,000. That, that could make sense. However, what were those votes doing in the middle of nowhere in the first place? And where did those votes come from? This, this has so many sus aspects to it this is ridiculous i think the last thing i wanted a couple of other things is the blue crest sorter machine uh, was only manned by one person you know people ask me all the time how do people commit crimes um i know there's a lot of theories here and i always look for the simplest thing people that stuff that you know sticking usb sticks in putting ballots in very simple thing only takes a couple of people it doesn't take a big conspiracy I think people look at things and they use inflammatory words and, uh, you know, like fraud and so forth. 
as a forensic computer scientist, my interest is in the data. Where did it go? Where did the spoilage go? How did the data come in and go out of the system? So I think as a scientist, we need to look at that, we need to audit that. What was really upsetting to me, and the most upsetting, was I had um, spoke to multiple law enforcement agencies and literally begged uh, multiple law enforcement agencies. They said, go in, and it's in order to prove, your, you know, prove that nothing's happening, and either exonerate yourselves in the process or refute what I'm saying, please. It's a very simple process. Just go get the forensic evidence from the computers. It's a simple process. You, take the, you turn the computer off. It's non-destructive. It takes moments, maybe half an hour, 20 minutes, to do it properly and collect the evidence. You open the computer up. You take a, a, a device called a bit blocker. You put it in the hard drive. It's done under the observation of law enforcement officers. They take a forensic image of the drive, put it all back together. It wouldn't have taken more than an hour to, to image all five machines. That was never done, despite my objections, and that was three weeks ago. Lastly, when they said, they said, well, we've got all the forensic records and so forth, we just learned two days ago that virtually all chain of custody logs, records, yellow sheets, everything was gone. All forensic. <laughs> What the fuck? What is this place? NASA? Fucking misplaced in the fucking moon landing or some shit? What the fuck? How can you lose the forensic files of the fucking drives? There's... If there's one story about this, then it's like, okay, you know, someone's fucked up. When there's story after story... And coincidence after coincidence after coincidence, things adding up and adding up and adding up, it starts to become quite likely that this is all planned. I mean, this seems ridiculous. I, yeah, I, I can only believe in so many coincidences at a time. The USB is going missing, the memory cards, I mean, going missing. The hard drives for forensic details went missing. Nah, nah, that's too sus. That's too sus. Nah, it, it, yeah, I've only got a certain amount of uh, tolerance uh, for <laughs> coincidence theories. But uh, this is definitely past a, a coincidence theory. This is this is now, in my opinion, this is yeah. This is something more now. This seems planned. This genuinely seems planned. Fuck, fuck. I don't know where they go from here. It's going to be interesting to see how the other states are turning out, and what's going to happen then. Fuck. This is just Pennsylvania. We haven't even seen the other states yet. Holy shit. Evidence, all custody sheets in Delaware County are gone. They had a signing party where they said... The custody sheets are missing as well. Come on. Come the fuck on. It's not believable anymore. Down, and, and poll workers were invited back to recreate those logs. And our understanding as of today was that they were unsuccessful in getting them all. So we have a situation where we have 100,000 ballots to 120,000 ballots, both mail-in and USB, they're in question. Now there's no cure for this, there's no remedy for this. As a home, as a home charter, we, can, we could have a re-election in Delaware County for our own representatives within our own town, but there is no cure for that for the President of the United States. And I believe as a citizen, and an observer to this, that anybody could certify that vote in any good conscience. And if the Democrats that have a part of this process, you know, were so, you know, had done things, followed their own procedures, which they created almost unilaterally, we would be in a situation where they could exonerate themselves and they could say, Mr. Stenstrom, 
you've been misinformed. We have evidence here that refutes what you say. But that's not the case. They can't do that. So I say, if you can't certify that vote, and you can't certify 100,000 votes out of 300,000, then you can't certify Delaware County. And I'm done, and thank you for your time and patience. He's absolutely right. You cannot verify that. A, hundred, a, third, a third of the county is invalid. 33%. Are you shitting me? Yeah, this is adding up to be the sussest fucking election that I've ever fucking witnessed. It feels like I'm watching a fucking movie. This doesn't feel real, but it is fucking real. This shit's actually fucking happening. It genuinely seems as if a fucking coup is being attempted right now. A Stalin-esque coup. Uh, coup. Fuck. This is absolutely ridiculous. I really hope these senators do something about this. This seems so fucked up. Wow, what an absolute fucking farce. All right, there's still more to come. Still loads, loads more to come. Um, I think uh, they're staying around this time uh, from now on uh, for the remainder of the... Uh, interviews so or the witness statements i guess but fuck i'm blown away i can't believe this is this is a this is a farce this is it just seems like a fucking scam how did they think they were going to get away with it let's say let's hypothetically there was planning into this to get this to happen you're planning to not get caught you have to plan to not get caught they haven't the They haven't planned at all to not get caught. Jesus fuck, did they think they were just going to get away with it? They didn't think anyone was going to come forward or no one was going to recount it or anything. Really? This entire thing just seems so fucking sketchy. All right. Tune in for the next one. Uh, don't forget, subscribe, like, share, comment, all of it. You know what to do. All right, catch you in the next one.